Recording video. Hello, folks. It's Flying Jake. And again, I have another very strict hard review. And this is about an episode of Rescue 911. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> episode of Rescue 911 that I had just uh, finished watching. It was episode nine of the first season. And this segment got me. It's called 911 Rifle. If you haven't seen this segment, let me tell you, it is totally disgusting. Because these parents, number one, I, I don't know. I just think that uh, 10 and 7, I think that's how old the little girl was. I think that's just too young to be left at home alone. That is too young to be at home alone, number one. The Troy family in Indianapolis, Indiana, left their two kids, Danny and Desiree, home alone. Uh, while they were working, the kids, you know, were not supposed to go outside. They weren't to have friends over. Well, Danny's friends drop by, and they're playing around. Well, the friend's brother is one of Desiree's friends. And, well, Danny and his friend goes in there, and they find Daddy's gun propped against the wall. Number one, guns shouldn't be propped against a freaking wall. But Daddy left his gun propped against the wall. So Danny Troy and his friend... Paul, are playing with his gun. They figured out how to chamber around, and, uh, well, finally they leave the room, and while Henry's in there, he was watching them do this, and he gets the gun, and he's screwing around with it. And, well, the gun discharges, shoots Desiree. After all this happens, okay, it's a good thing Desiree survived. By the grace of God, she survived. But the thing that gets me is that they all want to blame the gun. It's the gun's fault. We never should have had the gun in the house. No, it's not the gun's fault. It's your fault, Daddy. It's your fault for having the gun down in the first place. You shouldn't have had it down. It should have been properly stowed away in an area where the kids couldn't have had access to it, number one. Number two, there's a thing called discipline. And let me tell you something. I was spanked when I was a kid. <laughs> I got plenty of butt whoopings. And the, the problem is, you know, kids are raised nowadays with, with little to no discipline at all. They're just talked to, you know. And I'm sorry, but it just really gets me. My mom raised, raised us kids. We were around guns. My grandfather had guns. Our family friend had guns. We were told, if you touch a gun, I touch your butt. The only time we could touch a gun is if an adult said we could and if it was in a, in a, you know, a safe situation where there was an adult present and, and they had all control of the situation, we were just playing with a gun. Like, for instance, if grandpa or somebody took us out hunting or whatever, took, an else, took us out to shoot cans or whatever, yeah, sure, then we could touch a gun. Desiree... The little girl that was shot, she said, I kept on to mom and dad until they got rid of the guns. Well, you know, this is a big issue. It's the gun's fault, the gun's fault, the gun's fault. No, it's not. First of all, it's mom and dad's fault for not making sure that gun was put up in an area. You know, if you can't afford a gun safe, for God's sake, get a gun rack. Keep the gun in the closet and tell your kids, do not touch this gun and I don't care. You know, if you have to, put a padlock on the closet where the gun is. Quit blaming the gun for your stupid decisions. Quit blaming the guns for your reckless actions that led up to your kid getting hurt. This is one of those things that really gets under my skin, you know, because I see a lot of stupidity and a lot of the blame game going on. Nobody wants to take the blame for any, anything anymore. It's always somebody else's fault or an object's fault. No, it's not. 
Danny Troy shouldn't have been playing with a gun in the first place. Danny Troy shouldn't have been left at home alone in the first place. Danny Troy shouldn't have had his friends over in the first place. His friends shouldn't have been playing the, with the gun. The gun shouldn't have been propped in the wall, against the wall in the bedroom where the kids could have had total access to the SOB. And that's my opinion. I'm flying Jake. I'll be back with more YouTube content. Tell me what you think. Drop me a like. Hit that subscribe button.